you are about to explode oh all over the place now when i shuffle the cards um i look at how they behave you guys know this i look at how they behave as well as you know the, the actual meaning of the cards and the position that they fall out in well it took a while to, to like i'm gonna we're gonna i'm gonna show you the cards um but essentially what i can say is this you are so ready to move on it's scary I don't necessarily think this has anything to do with a relationship. I think this has to do with your position in life, like where you are, what you want to do with yourself. You, you're, you're tired of the old. You want the new. You're ready to move forward. And this is wonderful energy. And I want you to ride this bitch like sea biscuit. Like I want you to just jump on board and trust it and go in that direction because nothing bad could come from it except shit you've already gotten through okay i really don't get any bad vibes however i do sense that there is in terms of practicality you know in terms of motivation you are ready dude you are out the damn dough okay but in terms of practicalities oh those shitty practicalities but let me say this to you why is it so important to be practical and this is a really interesting aspect of you because there is always that aspect of wanting to move on and just wanting to go and just, just leaving when you want to escape. But when you actually want to make progress, there's all this hesitation. There's all these questions. There's all these what ifs. There's all these, but I'm not ready. And for this reason, this reason, this reason, all those reasons are going to be there no matter what you do. All those reasons are going to be there all the time, Sagittarius. And so there is this sense of if you have this momentum and everything in your gut is telling you just fucking go just get it done and make it happen because there's such a determination in you right now to get it done and make it happen and it's such a need and a necessity to actually make it happen to validate your importance on this planet like this is an important moment in your life things are moving forward they're new for you this is these are new prospects the practicalities however are really getting to you and that's why i'm going to repeat again fuck the practicalities who cares about the practicalities maybe this is just something that you need to not, it's not about a leap of faith it's about devil may care just go for it kind of energy um yes Sagittarius this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from born without boundaries thank you for uh coming there's always an extended video as well um that's a full tarot spread where we just get to the nitty gritty and the dirty details that tarot does expose. Uh, and that link is below. I do hope to see you there. And of course, there are now angel messages, spiritual guide messages that come out at the end of these readings. And I do hope that you listen to them because they have their own voice mm. and a, a much wonderful voice than mine. So a beautiful um, favor to do for yourself. Um, We are at a, such, such a transitional period right now. And if there's one thing that I could express to this channeled message, Sag, is that there is a need, there is uh, this fine balance, this pinnacle point that is really f f messing everybody up. It's, it's uh, scary for everybody. It's scary for everybody to take that step over. So the difference between the people who win and the people who lose is not whether or not you're afraid of all the things that you have to face. It's whether or not you're afraid of fear. Um, and I, I say this a lot. I, I, I actually share this with my son a lot. I am afraid of a lot of things, me personally, but fear is not one of them. And But a lot of times, that's different. A lot of people are not afraid of a lot because they don't think as much as as I do. I have all these thoughts going on in my head all the time. But when it comes to being afraid, it's almost like a motivator for me. As soon as I get afraid, I get curious. I wonder why. I get inspired to not be afraid anymore. It's like the reason to move forward, move on. I love the challenge that is fear. But a lot of people don't. And this is that fine-tuned point where you're facing right now. You're at a point where there is legitimate things that you could be afraid of. Could be finances, could be resources. You know, all those practicalities that are what we consider right now life's necessities, but it's not and I'm telling you see through the veil like get rid of all that see through the um 
see through the practicalities, th see through what you have been conditioned to believe that you need because you don't need them. Okay, what you need is is take um, is have faith in where your heart is pushing you. Even if you're afraid, let it be a motivator for you, not a um, not a blockage. You could think of fear as a stop sign. If you're traveling on a road, you we've all been there. We've you have to stop at a fucking stop sign, right? Fear is a stop sign. You don't set up shop there. Right, you don't build your condo at the fucking stop sign. People would be getting out of their cars to kick your ass if you didn't move through the stop sign eventually. So fear is that place where we pause, take in all the different information around us so that we can make a sound decision and then we move forward. So this is where you're at right now, Sag. You are at a point, you're at a stop sign. That's what fear is. You're at a stop sign. You're at a point in your life where you need to take in more information to decide which direction you move forward in. Not to stay stuck. Not to sit there and get honked at and piss people off and just back down from the opportunities in front of you. Your whole life is ahead of you. It's not behind you. And it's not where you are right now. It is definitely in front of you and you must continue your journey. So make that decision. Yes, take in the, all the, you take in the information, but there's only so long you should stay at a stop sign. There's only so, so much information you should take in. After a while, it just becomes an excuse to keep stay sitting at that stop sign because it's safe. You can't, there's no such thing as safety right now. There's no such thing as safety in the future because the future is undetermined. And in order to feel safe, there has to be a sense of something that's already been determined, something that's already been done, something that's already been figured out by somebody else. Well, that's not where you are in your life right now. This hasn't been figured out by somebody else. And if it even has, it's not somebody else that can offer you the, uh, the, the insights that you need to feel secure. So this is just a, a sense, a, a, a period for you to basically... And like I said, it's not a leap of faith. I want to I want to keep saying it, but it's not only is it a cliche that kind of irritates the crap out of me, but it is it's not really what you're doing right now because it's not a leap of faith. It's a a step forward it, and then followed by another step forward. And there is so much inside of you that just wants so badly to move forward. So here's my question, why aren't you doing it? Why are you waiting? What are you waiting on? This is what I want. This, this is the information that I want you to gain when you're at the stop sign. This is the information that I want you to get. I want you to tell me why you're not moving forward. And I want you to really be honest with yourself because you're not being honest with yourself. There's a sense of um, you're not being honest with yourself about why you're not moving forward. Um, I, I don't think it's anything shady. I think it's. I think it's just a sense of actually not being willing to admit it but wanting more security than you are proud to admit that you need right um, maybe wanting more creature comforts and you're proud to admit that you need um all of those things have to be realized first got to be got to get real with yourself got to get straight with yourself and then you have to be like how important is it really to me how important and and what I what I really want you to say, and in the midst that this may be, you know, you know, shut the fuck up, Michelle. But what I really want you to see is that you are going to gain so much more than what you see now as what you're going to lose. You're gonna. There's so much awesomeness on the other side of that fear. Like every, it's not my quote. I you know I I don't know who said it, but everything that you want is on the other side of fear, and and I. I don't discredit faith and faith is a big part of moving forward. But like I said, it is not a leap of faith. It really is the next step in your life and it's there. And I do feel like there is, like in other words, I want you to trust yourself. I want you to trust that feeling that's inside of you that says, go, do it now. There's an, there's an opportunity that you have to capitalize on right now. Um, don't wait. Don't wait because this is your next step. And maybe you planned for your next step to happen in another um, in another year or another two months. You know, maybe you didn't plan for the step to all, all, all of a sudden appear so quickly, but we don't always get 
those options. You know, when the opportunity presents itself, the opportunity presents itself. And I, there's an opportunity that has presented itself. Now, let me explain to you what energy you're working with. We're going to get into the oracle cards, right? Be fearless and bold. You're dealing with Aries energy, which is confidence and taking care of yourself, loving loving yourself. L loving yourself not as in being proud or being, you know, mm, you're so amazing, such a generous, mm, I love myself. Or I love myself. I want you to love me. No, like, no, that's not what I'm, I'm actually saying. Hold on. So... Loving yourself is actually respecting the intuitions that go along inside yourself. It's actually not questioning them. Uh, and you got double cardinal energy. Now, you are mutable energy, which means you like to go with the motherfucking flow. But this is cardinal energy, which means there has been a fire in your belly that's telling you to act in a way that is very unlike yourself. Fuck the flow. I'm going to create the flow. And that's what the message from the cards is really... It is time for you, Sagittarius, to create your own flow, not to go along with the flow that you so easily tap in through everybody else. It is up to you now to create the flow, to take the lead, to commit to actually figuring out. This is why the Capricornian energy is here. Dun, 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 dun. There is a sense of uh, figuring out the details, figuring out the practicalities that have to do with what yourself is pushing you toward, is what, what is that chance that you really want to take, and now figuring out how to take that chance that you really want to take and how to make it work. In other words, stop making the practicalities be the excuse or the reason why you don't do it. You can just figure out how to do it. If you're honest with everything that you're facing, step by step, line it up. There's always a solution to every freaking problem. And there's this energy in you right now that knows it, that believes in it. And you don't always. So take that energy and work with it and use it now. Now, there's a bunch of other stuff that you're dealing with. Let's start with this. This is feeling stuck. The energy of feeling uh, captive by everybody else's expectations. This is Aquarius energy in reverse. So being captive by being held captive by social expectations, by what the community expects or what the community is demanding right now, being repressed, being held back could be literally because, you know, held back because of COVID and shit, you know, all these things and opportunities are closed down for so many people right now. So it could be actual logistic being held down, being closed down. But there's also this sense of not wanting to let go, of being stuck on something that you don't really want to let go of, which is a sense of fitting in or a sense of standardization, a sense of pop culture or what everybody else is doing, a sense of the norm because you do derive a sense of safety from that sense of normality. And it is part of what is making you stuck. But there's also a sense of, you know what? You have everything that you need right now. There's a sense of not wanting to leap, not wanting to look for, move forward. And the truth is, there's a part of your life that you really, really like right now. There's a comfort in the routine. And this is something that as a Sagittarius, you may not want to really admit to because tend to usually you're stereotyped at least as hating the routine and, and, not, and, and, and not wanting to conform. But there, there's a sense of, certainty and security and something that you don't want to leave and and you know what maybe you can take the parts that you don't want to leave behind maybe you can take them with you you don't have to leave everything behind to take this chance so this is a sense of trying to figure out how can you take those things that are most important with you with you important to how can you take those things that are most important to you with you so this is Taurus energy which deals with finance and abundance and then there is, this is my win pigs fly card, which means making the impossible happen. You are going to be able to figure out the finances of this. That's good news. That's it. Yay. Somehow you'll be able to get the money. Um, there could actually even be money coming into you, money that you didn't anticipate, didn't expect. Wouldn't that be great? Either way, there's a sense of, yes, financially, you will be able to make this happen. And there's so much abundance here. There's so much prosperity. There's so much ability to turn something that is impractical into something that is practical. It's almost like it's destiny that you do this. So, um, um, yeah, so, so 
listen, I understand why it's hard to take this step, but I'm not even asking you to take the step out the door. I'm asking you to write down all of those things that are making you afraid and all of those things that are holding you back. And I'm asking you to make a plan, which is the Capricornian energy, because they can plan like a motherfucker. Um, I'm asking you to make a plan that reacts to every single one of those obstacles, that figures a way around them, over them, through them, under them, getting, getting over those obstacles. Realistically, look at those obstacles and figure out a way over them because what you are somehow thinking right now um, is impossible, is absolutely not impossible. And especially if it's finances. And I say that because it's Taurus energy. But it could also be, you know, Taurus is about beauty and love um, because it's ruled by Venus. So there is a sense of all of that even getting better. Love that energy. But over here, we're moving to, uh, nope, the truth transcends illusion lying to yourself not being honest with what is really um getting to you yeah what is really getting to you this is piscean energy there is always enough in other words you're you're not being honest about something that is lacking you're not being honest about something that you don't have so uh, maybe you're not being honest about the money that you're making. Maybe you're not being honest about um, certain feelings that you're having. There is a lack in your life and there is a need to deal with that lack in your life, but you haven't been honest with it. And it could very well be, especially with Piscean energy, because this is very emotional for somebody. <clears throat> Once again, no, I don't think this is cheating. I just think this is a sense of maybe saying to somebody, well, maybe you can't do the job that you want to do because we need the finances coming in this direction. It's about the bigger picture, not about the small picture. Or, you know, like like having one of those hard conversations um, and the time is now. There's a sense of not being able to put up with it anymore. Emotionally just being uh, had it up to here, but you haven't had the discussion. You've been keeping it to yourself and you need to have the discussion. It's about to come out. It needs to come out. It needs to come out. Um, and it's actually going to ha help a lot. I think that's probably one of the biggest impediments to moving forward is that you have to get through this to move forward. And this is the one thing that you don't want to confront. Mm. Think on your feet. This is your energy. This is Sagittarius energy being very foxy, being very wily, being able to pull the rug over somebody's face, right? Like being the master magician. But it's also being very malleable. It's also being uh, very agile and able to think on your feet and improvise. So this is a sense of, dude, you can do it. There is security and stability in your ability to improvise. There, like that's where you get your security from. Your ability to be malleable and to mold yourself into whatever situation you can. So it's like that's the seed you've already planted. It's that's what's that's what's inevitably going to make this all work. So go ahead and plant those seeds because inevitably it will be your ability to improvise that'll help those seeds grow or help you plant them in the right places. This is Virgo energy. Believe in yourself believe in your own attributes because they're the ones that are actually going to protect you and defend you and guard you it's like you are your own security you have more security than you think you do in your ability to improvise and not need all those heavy burdensome boundaries and and sort of status quo stereotypical traditional ways of making ourselves feel safe that makes you guys feel way too fucking heavy i'll tell you that right now now this is a card that really gives me a great deal of hope because what it says is the truth eventually is going to come out but a little bit in the future it's not going to happen like right now it's not going to you know, maybe it's not going to come out right now, you know, but it is coming out soon. There is a sense of you will shine. You will, the, you will allow yourself to be completely and totally revealed in all of your glory and splendor. This is scorpionic energy as well. So it is about starting a new phase in your life. And the main point of starting a new phase in your life is owning your new position in life. It is owning yourself and allowing yourself to come out and, and own and, and just step out and t be cardinal. Step out in front and take that position and stick with it. 
and realize that that yeah this is this is the newness like uh the newness is not going to necessarily be smooth the newness is not going to necessarily be perfect but the newness is exactly where i belong this is your butterfly period it's your time to spread your wings and fly and it's a transcendental period for you to rise up and become something new um yeah it's a really beautiful energy let it shine let everything that you are shine. In other words, this is the time in your life where you are at, basically, you will show the best of yourself. This challenge that maybe you're backing down from now is actually an opportunity to demonstrate the absolute best of your character. See a little peacock? Confidence, beauty, and it's coming. It's just, it's just, you have to realize that. You have to self-realize. Um, let's get into the angel messages because they always have an interesting twist on everything that the cards kind of expose. first two cards that popped out are middle path embrace both sides the middle path is the road to a balanced and more peaceful life so there is a sense of compromise maybe a sense of you know maybe you don't need a house that big but you still have to buy a house and if what's what's blocking you is you know you've put you're like if I can't buy that million dollar house I'm not moving that's stupid because the point and the purpose was always that you move, right? Not not the construction of the house that you move into. Of course, you're supposed angel, angels want to see you cared for and in the place that makes you happy. But there's a sense of maybe setting the bar too high as being what is that secret. It's almost like you're setting the bar intentionally high to make yourself not reach it to give yourself an excuse to actually not do what you really want to do. And it's just a, like a sort of a little cut kind of caveat of your fear. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, no, you got to get over that. You got to get over that. Forget about the million dollar house. There's a $400,000 house that you could buy and you could get on the road tomorrow. You could move on to your next life. And the only reason why you're insisting on them, I mean, who, who doesn't want a million dollar house? But the, the truth is you don't even need it to make you happy. What you're doing is you're using it as an excuse to not move forward. That's the truth. Ooh, hate to break it to you. Blue Angel, Michael. Archangel Michael is present once again. Uh, he's been showing up a lot. I, Archangel Michael, am here by your side. I am all around you and will forever protect you. Remember this when you feel fearful. I love you all as well. You're protected. You're absolutely 150% protected. So get on that path. Love came out next. The heart of love is the heart of creation. All is possible through love. All is worthwhile for love. May all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth there is love in your life Sagittarius and it is one of the strongest things in your life right now and it is good and it is pure and it is right and it is the foundation of your strength and the reason why when you move forward even if you can't predict everything that's going to happen it's not going to really matter destiny your destiny is to blossom to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. You better own that destiny. And it's about facing your destiny. It's, it's about the timing. Destiny is all about timing. 
and we got that throughout the entire reading and the channeled message so this is the time it's your time to shine it's your time to step into the spotlight and step out of the safe the safety zone courage what we uh you have what it takes just do it we your angels are here to support you <laughs> You have the support. Now, even if you are listening to these angel messages and you don't really believe in actual real angels, think about earth angels. You are supported. You have the support. You have the support of divine timing. You have the right rightness on your side. So having courage in the presence of this fear is the exact time to have courage, right? What is that famous Ned Stark quote? Um, how can I be brave if I'm always afraid? And Ned Stark said, when you're afraid is the only time you really can be brave. It's like, it's like, you know, courage and bravery is something that you do in the face of your fear. So don't let it disappoint you in yourself. It's natural, but it's time to move on. I, I can't with these cards What are you waiting on? Do it now. Don't put it off any longer. Have courage. <laughs> Listen to your intuition for it is the guiding voice of your soul. I don't pick these cards. I don't look at them. All this shit just comes out. Why? This is the message you need to hear. You need to do it now. Stop. I heard you thinking too much. End it. Let's go over into tarot. We'll suss out the dirty details. Could help you a lot. I'll see you guys over there.